when you're desperate guys you have to do this this is how we this is how we survive this is how we play silent hill 2 remake guys we we sacrifice we sacrifice hey guys welcome back to tomorrow 16 i am your host javon and today we're off a brand new benchmark once again today we'll be showing you guys how to run silent hill 2 remake on a low end pc this is actually i have really bad news i tested a lot of things out trying to get this game running on lower end hardware it didn't work out well now if you're coming from my previous video the actual uhd 630 video you know that I was getting about 13 FPS here and whatnot, whereas I'm hitting in the 20s now. So the frame rate is way higher than it was before. But it's not necessarily the greatest technique or tactic. I simply went in to change my display where I was 640 by 480. Turned the game to borderless real quick. Let's just move that out of the way. Yeah, I just changed the game to borderless. So it was actually running at 640 by 480. And we basically just left everything else on low. Obviously, we're using the resolution scalability, which I don't even, I'm not even sure if it's working at this point because it's not performing how I think it should. But regardless, we are seeing a, a bigger improvement in the game. Obviously, like I said, we were getting we were getting 13 FPS here before and stuff. And here we're getting into the 20. So it is a lot more playable here. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that video out there real quick because people were wondering, how the heck would you run this even better? And you can... It, it just looks worse, even worse. 640 by 40 on a monitor is crazy. So imagine me walking around here. I was getting around 13 to 10 to 13 FPS. It's more so in the 20s here on average, which is nice. You know, it means when you're going to areas, it's look at that. Some areas are going to even give you 30 FPS. That's impressive. Even the cutscenes over 20 frames per second. That is cool. That shows progress right there. I did a few things, man. I, I, I placed some configs in, but I don't know if they're... I don't think they actually worked. Unfortunately, I don't think this one this one does well with low-end configs. So, we're going to actually have to struggle on this one, boys. <laughs> Sorry about that. But this is with a UHC 630. If you have a graphics card, you're going to be eating good. Just... I don't know why you would need to use... To drop the rest to 640 by 4 anywhere. That, that's kind of that's kind of dramatic. Honestly, that, that would be dramatic. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. It's very simple stuff. Like I said, I just changed the resolution in my display. Um, we simply changed it from 1920 by 1080 to 640 by 480. Then we launched the game, and here we are. And then we changed the game to boardless, actually. And then we launched it. It's really that simple. People are going to be like, man, I can't get that. that you can. It's that simple. It's not hard. Please. Please. But yeah, that's about it. It runs. I can't believe it's not butter. Once you go into buildings and stuff, you're going to get way higher frame rate. So just keep that in mind. And the thing about this is a lot, a lot of this game does take place in... Does take place in... A building. Like, look at this. Like I disabled shadows and stuff like that too. So keep that in mind as well. But... Look at that. See what I mean? Like, look at the frame rate. Now we're still in the 20s here. Everything's running a lot smoother. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Wait a minute. Actually, you know what? Yeah, actually, that's fine.